Hey guys, so today we are going to be talking about how sound is produced in our bodies using our voices. So obviously, using your voice is something that you just naturally know how to do. It's something we learn as babies just by making raw, random sounds, which we eventually learn through English to turn them into actual literal words. So now we're gonna talk about how your body actually produces that sound and how the different body parts work together to create sound. So the important body parts to know about are gonna start right down here at the bottom with the diaphragm. So if you feel your rib cage, so touch your stomach, feel your rib cage near the bottom, and then just kind of travel up the top of the rib cage and you'll feel this pushy, fleshy thing inside of you that's definitely not bone. That is your diaphragm. So the diaphragm is, a, is one of the largest muscles in your body. And what happens is all sound is started by us breathing in. If you think I'm wrong, try and hold out a long note until you run out of breath and the sound will literally stop. So what happens is we inhale and if you put your hands on your stomach and inhale very deeply, you'll feel that area start to push out in your stomach if you don't have a pregnancy belly when you've taken a full breath, then you're not breathing deep enough. And what this does is the diaphragm begins to contract downward, which gives your lungs more space to expand and gives them more space to fill up with air. So we breathe in, our diaphragm starts to push down and our lungs fill up with air. Then is when sound can happen. So what happens when we decide to make a sound is it is air. That's all sound is, it's just air. So that air comes up through the trachea and in the trachea are what's called vocal folds or your vocal cords. And what happens is whenever you are silent, they stay pretty far apart. But as you decide to make sound, they come together and as they hit each other, they start to vibrate. And this vibration starts to come out as raw sound. So the way raw sound works is it bounces around inside of what is called the resonators of your body. And we'll talk about those a little bit more in detail, but it's basically kind of sound, it's if you sit there and make different vowel sounds like ah, eh, ah, oh, ooh, you can feel it start to resonate in different areas of your body, like your chest, your throat, your mouth, and your head. This is what babies do. That's why they scream. They just make ah, they don't know yet how to properly use their articulators to create sound. So we breathe in, diaphragm pushes down, lungs fill with air. That air travels through the vocal folds, causes them to vibrate, which travels through the larynx and gets it up into your resonators. To create sounds is when you start to use your articulators. If you've been in choir, you're familiar with the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. Those are our, resonator, our articulators along with the jaw and your hard and soft palate, which once again, we'll get into later. So this is how raw sound, this is how sound in general is produced. You breathe in, fill up your lungs, the sound travels up, vibrates the vocal folds, and that's when it starts to resonate. And then you use your articulators to close off that resonation to create more precise sounds so that you can create more precise words. All of this is important because as actors, we have to not only learn how to be loud, but we also need to learn how to talk in a way that everyone can understand what we're saying. And often, the further someone is away from us, the harder it is for them to not only hear us, but to understand us. So we're going to be talking about how to better use these body parts like the diaphragm and our resonators to create a louder sound and how to use our articulators to create a more precise sound so that people can understand every single word we are saying, no matter how far away they are. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know if you have any questions.